Hey everybody. I went to see the movie Boyhood last night and I walked out of that cinema kind of in a state of awe because it might just be the best film I've ever seen. Alright, so if you don't already know anything about Boyhood, I should explain something about it that's quite unique in terms of Hollywood movies. Uh, the film took 12 years to make, uh, to film, uh, because what they did was they took a kid and all the other actors in the film as well uh, had to commit to this 12-year project. And they started off when this, uh, the main character, Mason, is six years old, and the film ends when he goes off to college and starts his life as an adult. And so you uh, literally get to watch everyone in the film, all the children in the film, you watch them grow up. Uh, in the space of like two and a half hours, like from little kids to adults, which is all by itself kind of a privilege, you know. Um, and those of us who like kids anyway, it's just it's just it's just so interesting watching kids grow up, even if they're acting. It's 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 a fascinating experience for me. It's, it's, when I was sitting there, I was I felt like I was watching members of my own family, and that's just the thing. When you watch this movie, there will inevitably be different aspects of it for everybody that will resonate. I mean, uh, you know, I've got a sister who's near my age, and uh, we used to bicker the same way as the kids in the film did when we were younger. So uh, it was just charming on so many different levels. It was beautifully shot. The acting was superb. Um, I think if people don't like this movie, uh, I, I, I can't imagine what's not to like about it, really. I mean, I, I wonder if someone might say, oh, it doesn't have a very strong plot. I mean, the, the, the plot is right there in the title. You're, you're, you're watching someone grow up, you know, and it's obviously fiction. It's not a documentary. So there is a story going on there, uh, you know, the boy becoming a man. That's the plot. That is the plot. You know, it's, it's, it's not a complicated plot. But they've managed to achieve something brilliant because this movie is more subtle than almost any movie I can think of so much of what's going on is implicit and not explicit. For example, when the, the movie starts and he's just six years old and for the first couple of scenes, years, whatever, um, he's uh, a, not a major participant in his own life because, you know, the world is happening to him and around him and, you know, that's how it is being a kid. And they portray that brilliantly without having to actually say it or make any reference to it whatsoever. Um, and then you, it's just, it's an amazing exploration of childhood, it's an amazing exploration as well of parenthood, and not just parenthood, but the significant adults in your life, the times when someone random says or does something memorable for whatever reason, and those sort of times in your life where someone drops a penny in your well, and your direction changes as a result, you know, um, Stuff like that is all over this movie, and that's when I think makes it so brilliant, because that's what life is really like. It might be the most realistic movie I've ever seen as well, which is another sort of achievement. Um, I love this movie so much, I can't possibly, possibly exaggerate it. Um, I'm going to have to see it again, but part of me almost doesn't want to, because I, I've got the sort of crystalline picture of it in my brain. and I. And at the moment, I'm still I'm still rolling it around in my head. And I think if I see it again too soon, I might uh, I might overthink it. Shocking, I know, but you know, uh, <laughs> I, 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 it's so easy to love the characters. So much of the uh, beauty of this film is completely unspoken in the movie, and uh, it, it's a bit long, I suppose. I think it's around two and a half hours or so, maybe even more. I'm not sure. Uh, but, like I say, it's a privilege to be able to sort of watch people grow up and mature. Um, you know, I love kids in general, and all by itself, that was an interesting experience. They achieved something with this movie by shooting it over a 12-year period uh, that you just couldn't do any other way. Uh, it was amazing. And what they did, if you don't already know, is every, every year for six weeks, they would shoot more scenes. And so you could literally watch kids grow up you could literally watch the parents you know uh, go through their shit as well and uh, etc every level brilliant movie if you like movies and you don't mind them not having any explosions or broken glass or forced romance uh, and and you like movies that 
you know, are subtle. Boy, boyhood, go, just go, just do it. Do it before it's not in the cinema anymore. Go and see it. You'll be glad you did, I'm sure.